Hello and welcome to this Thrive Team Builder tutorial. When using Thrive Team Builder, the post content is an important element because it helps you build your posts and pages content. This is a rather special element, it works slightly different than the other Thrive Team Builder elements and here's why. First of all, when you are editing a template like I'm doing now, you will notice that the post content is inserted by default without you having to go to the right sidebar and add it manually to your template. Secondly, it's important to know that the post content element cannot be removed from your template. So you will notice that when you hover over it or when you are selecting the post content element, you only get this option which allows you to move the content but not to actually remove it or duplicate it or any other options that you usually have when you are editing an element. There would be no content displayed when you are previewing this template on a post or on a page. Lastly, another key aspect of this element lies in its dynamic behavior. This means, of course, that the element changes based on the post or page you are applying it to. You can preview this dynamic behavior using the content dropdown from here. Let me just quickly show you what I mean by that. So I'm just gonna load a different post from my website and you can see that now I have a different type of content added here in my post content element. It is also good to keep in mind that the actual content of this element cannot be edited. As long as you are editing a template in Thrive Team Builder, this is not something that you can change this particular piece of content. So this is just a template that you can apply to your posts or pages, but the actual content of your post, of this post in particular, can only be changed if you are editing this in Thrive Architect. And you can quickly go to the Thrive Architect editor from this little icon right here. So clicking on that icon from my right sidebar allowed me to open the Thrive Architect editor and now I can go ahead and make the changes that I want. Now whenever I'm done customizing my content, I can just save my work and then go back to the Thrive Team Builder editor if I want to from the same right sidebar, but now you can see that I have the Thrive Team Builder icon right here. So let's just jump back to the Thrive Team Builder editor. And now you can see that my content has been changed, the change is visible, but it was something that I did in Thrive Architect. Okay, so now back here in this editor, here's what options you can use on the post content element. So I've made my selection, I clicked on it, and you can see here in the left sidebar that you have the general options available, and you can use them if you want to tweak the layout and position, for example, or if you want to add the background style, or use the other options available here. So for example, let's just add some borders and corners to our post content element. I'm just gonna go for the theme color. Let's adjust the thickness from here and then also round the corners a bit. Okay, so let's save this work. And now if I'm gonna go ahead and preview this template on another post, you will see that the change I made on the template is visible if I preview this template on a different post as well. Now, if you add another post content element to your template using the right sidebar list of elements, you will notice that the content will be duplicated, but the customization you made on the previous post content will not be inherited by the new one. And of course, this duplicate version can be removed if you want. So you see that the duplicate and the remove options are available for this second piece of post content. If you want to remove it, of course, you will be asked in this pop-up if you are sure you want to proceed with the deletion of this post content element. When you are done with making all the changes to your template, don't forget to save your work before exiting this editor. So this was a short overview over how and where you can use the post content element. As always, I hope you found it useful and easy to follow. 